Hi, my name is Natasha Wright, and I'm an inventor in the Lemelson MIT Student Prize Competition. My invention is a solar-powered desalination system to remove salt from groundwater, specifically in rural India and other remote areas. While filters that remove biological contaminants are now affordable and easy to obtain, the communities I met with were not using these filters because they do not improve how the water tastes. People described how the high salinity caused severe stomach aches and kidney stones, which are expensive to treat. In a country where 60% of the groundwater is too saline to drink, removing the biological contaminants is not always enough, as salt can lead to poor health and inadequate aesthetic quality. During my fieldwork, I met with a company called Tata Projects that has manufactured and installed over 2,000 village-scale desalination systems. They recover the full capital and operational cost through water sales from their on-grid systems. Their biggest barrier to truly providing clean water throughout India is the cost of going off-grid. My system uses a process called electrodialysis in which an applied voltage separates ions from the product water stream. Electrodialysis requires up to 70% less energy and wastes 10 times less water than the existing desalination systems in India. My first full-size system was tested with our partner Jane Irrigation Systems as part of the USA Desal Prize in New Mexico, a competition aimed at producing desalinated water for drinking in agriculture. I transitioned from a lab-scale setup to an 8,000 liter per day system, proving that the concept was feasible from a technical standpoint. Through two field trials in India and one in Gaza, we are confirming the operation, maintenance, and serviceability of the plant. I am working with Tata Projects to commercialize the technology. They plan to manufacture and distribute throughout India. For my PhD, I am looking at optimizing the system for solar power and developing new ED stack architectures, such as spiral stacks, that would allow for further cost and energy reductions. As people in rural India become more aware of water quality issues in their communities, they are becoming more willing to pay for safe drinking water. With this technology, I aim to create a sustainable business model, meeting an affordable price point, so we can reach 250 million people in India who currently have intermittent power and saline groundwater as their primary drinking water source.